Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors <coughs> So the Dragon Ball Z anime released in 1989 This game for the Game Boy Advance A handheld console The follow up to the Game Boy Color uh, This game released in 2004 By Suisha Studio Bird Studio And Toei Animation And Ben Presto developed the game Okay <coughs> so This is a popular uh, Dragon Ball Z fighter for the Game Boy Advance. There are two fighters for the Game Boy Advance. This game and Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu, which is known as one of the worst Dragon Ball games ever. And it wouldn't even run on an emulator. I tried it on two and you're met with a message that it can't run. This game runs and it's actually popular unlike the other. So we'll take a look at it. It's actually really cool and unique for the Game Boy Advance. We have English language. Difficulty could be easy or beginner even, I think. Yeah, it will be beginner. Okay. So this is a 24 game, the same year that Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 were released for the PlayStation 2. Okay. Free battle, challenge, Z battle story. Okay. Let's go to free battle first. We do not have all the characters unlocked. There are a bunch of hidden characters. We have Son Goku, the main character. We have... Uh, we have uh, Son Gohan. He's oldest son as a teen. Super Saiyan Son Gohan. Super Saiyan 3 Son Gohan actually. We have Piccolo. We have uh, Vegeta. We have Trunks. And we have Frieza, then we have a bunch of secret characters that we haven't unlocked yet. Let's just, just start the game with Goku. So we have uh, team members in this game. So Goku, his friends would probably be uh, Son Gohan and Piccolo. Yes, I'm sure. And the enemies will be Vegeta. His son Trunks and uh, Frieza, even though Frieza would never be on the same side as Vegeta, but he wouldn't be on the other side either, because he's an enemy. Vegeta is an enemy in, in, in the Saiyan saga, but he is good later in the show. Frieza is never turned into a good character. He's the only bad guy you, you have at the start, the only true bad guy. Vegeta is like an anti-hero, he starts as a, as a villain and becomes a hero in the end. And uh, the others are either heroes or villains. Okay, uh, Freeze is the only villain you can start with. Are you sure? Yes. There so are three versus three battles in this game. Fight in teams. Ready. Fight! Alright, so we control all of them, but I believe the others can jump in and out of battles. So it's a tag team fighter, I believe. <coughs> I'm using the PlayStation 4 controller to control the characters. <coughs> Playing on the Visual Boy Advance emulator for the Game Boy Advance. With better visuals than the other RetroArch emulator. So the game looks the best it can. And the Game Boy Advance emulator. This game is actually regarded as better than its follow-up title, uh, Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors 2 for the later system, Nintendo tr DS. But the DS has a weird um, like screen where you, where you have like two screens, one for the battles and, and one where you press the buttons. And it doesn't look good on an emulator when you play DS games. So... Uh, I don't know if I will play it, but this game I wanted to play, and it's more popular than the second game in the title. Plays the same, pretty much, but has uh, only one screen, which is nice. So as you see, the characters jump in and out of battle. I can switch to go on. So I attack on circle and on X. Do nothing on square. I can uh, switch out the character on L1. I can charge the energy on R1. That's nice. I have a button just 
<coughs> have a button used for that. Okay, so I'm not used uh, to the controls of the game, but I like the sprites, they look good. They remind me of the Super Nintendo sprites, but they are used in a better way here. The battles are more fast faith, paced, um, you, you f it feels more uh, supersonic, or fast. Not as slow as the old Beethoven games, but the sprites look similar to, to the Beethoven games for the Super Nintendo. Looks like the same sprites, just used differently here, in a better way. It's a very fast paced fighter. There is nothing like it. Prior to this game, it's very unique. I'm usually not a fan of tag team battles where you switch out characters. I prefer one versus one. But uh, it's a great fighter. <coughs> Okay, I have no pity for you, Piccolo says. Life remain 23, time bonus 43, max combo 2, battle power 5140. 640 maybe. Okay, so we will play the story mode. <coughs> so there is the free battle mode where you can play as anyone against anyone, but it's not very fun when you do not have the other characters unlocked. Probably need to play the story mode to unlock them. You have challenge mode where you can do different challenges. You have training where you can try out the character and try their moves and learn to use the buttons and such. You have Link VS where you can play against another player. If you have two Game Boy Advance <coughs> systems and a Link cable, of course that doesn't work on an emulator. We have the option menu and we have the story. Let's go to the story. And we can only play as uh, Goku, I believe. Other characters seem to be Super Boo, uh, the main villain of the Boo saga, Perfect Cell, the main villain of the Cell saga. Ah, it's sagas. The Boo saga, the Cell saga, Android saga actually. And the Mech saga we can actually click on. Cool. Uh, with Freeze as the main villain. And we have uh, different saga here with uh, Fusions, Gotenks, I think is seen there. Imagine Boo story here. Okay. So yeah, we have a bunch of different characters. Maybe they are secret characters we can unlock. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we will play as Goku, of course, the main character. Scene 1 the ultimate battle to divide the world. <coughs> Several years after Goku won the world's martial arts tournament, which was the finale of the Dragon Ball anime and manga. First 14 volumes of the Dragon Ball manga ends with that world, world tournament. And that's the end of the Dragon Ball anime. <coughs> the Earth was attacked by Saiyans, a hostile people. After completing his training with King Kai, Goku took fate of the planet in his hands and met Vegeta in battle. Ah, so it skips immediately to the battle between Goku and Vegeta. So there are no battle between Piccolo and Son Goku versus Raditz here. And there is no battle uh, with the Sea Fighters against Nappa, Vegeta's companion in the Saiyan Saga. We jump straight to the final battle in the Saiyan Saga between Goku and Vegeta. <coughs> hey, Vegeta says, Ha ha ha! You should be happy that someone so elite is willing to play with a low life like you. Goku says, the little hard work, even a low life, can surprise uh, you. Vegeta, ha ha ha, don't waste your breath, you'll need it in battle. Uh, I believe in the manga it says, uh, with a little uh, luck and hard work, even a low life can surpass an elite. That's how he said it in the manga, I believe. So they changed the text a bit here. Uh, the battle for Earth's future is set to begin. <coughs> Ready, fight. I like that the battles here are fast paced and if I hold uh, the R1 button and click on X I move uh, forward like this. 
this is a weird fighter. It will take some time getting used to the buttons. Overall, I think it's a cool title. Very unique. Nothing we've seen before. Using 2D backgrounds and 2D sprites, like in the Super Nintendo. But the Game Boy Advance was like a portable Super Nintendo, so it was stronger than the Super Nintendo. But most of the games looked worse or, or the same in quality. Goku says, ha, 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 ha. Okay, Vegeta, no, I never expected someone like me would have to turn back. Even though Goku was hurt, he somehow managed to hold off Vegeta. But the price the planet paid was high. Many friends, even Piccolo, died and the Earth Dragon Balls disappeared. To revive his dead friends, Goku headed for the planet Namek to search for Dragon Balls there. Because the Dragon Balls can summon the, the Dragon Friend along if you gather all seven. And then you can uh, resurrect the, the fallen fighters by wishing them back to life. Uh, because the Dragon can uh, grant a wish. Okay, Goku arrived on the planet Namek. But on Namek, Frieza and Vegeta were engaged in a fierce battle for the Dragon Balls. Combat Ginyu and Frieza, Goku and Vegeta join forces. Goku, Vegeta, I never thought that I would join forces with you. Vegeta says, Frieza's power is incredible. It makes me sick that I have to join forces with you, but this is the only way to beat him. Frieza says, you little bugs. Captain Ginyu, teach them what happens to those who rebel against me. Ginyu says, haha, that's an easy request. Alright, we'll fight both Frieza and Captain Ginyu here. And we will control both Son Goku and Vegeta here in their normal forms. So for the Game Boy Advance, this is the only good fighting game set in the Dragon Ball series. You can switch out between Vegeta and uh, Goku. There was one earlier title from, from 2003, but it sucks, as I said previously. And it doesn't play anything like this. It plays very badly. More like a normal fighter, but really badly done. This one is uh, actually good. And fresh in how you play, too. I believe this game is similar to the PlayStation title where you play as 4 at once. Or at least similar in how it looks, but not in how it plays. For a 24 handled game, this is pretty decent. If it had been a normal system, a mainline console, then it would have been outdated. But the handled systems looked like this in 2004. They were 2D. The mainline consoles were 3D and the handheld consoles were 2D. In the early 2000s. <coughs> At the end of the battle, Ginyu had, has been defeated and Frieza has been backed into a corner by Goku and Vegeta. However, Frieza had yet to go all out. Frieza says, I think there has been a misunderstanding. I hope you don't think that I have been serious until now. Vegeta says, what? Vegeta? Huh? It is real power. Frieza was able to pierce Vegeta's heart with one blow. Scene 3, Legendary Super Saiyan. Ah, so Goku will turn into Super Saiyan now. We skip straight to the finale of the Namek saga. The story mode isn't that expensive here. It, it skips straight to the boss battles against Vegeta and, and Frieza. In, in, in other games you would have to fight all of the Ginyu Force, five members, and before that maybe even fight Sarber and Dodoria. Okay, so Goku says, Vegeta! Vegeta says, Gah, On the verge of death, Vegeta entrusted Goku with Saiyan pride. <coughs> he then swallowed his own. Vegeta, K Kakarot, P -p please, Frieza! I want Frieza to be defeated by a Se... Saiyan! Goku, ve Vegeta! Goku, oh! 
Vegeta died and Goku awoke as a Super Saiyan. That's not like in the manga and anime. I believe in, in the anime and manga, Vegeta did die. But uh, Goku didn't turn into a Super Saiyan at that point. I believe that he turned Super Saiyan after Krillin were killed. Uh, one of Goku's earlier friends, his best friend in childhood. He uh, was killed by Freeze and then he turned Super Saiyan. But in this game he turns Super Saiyan when Vegeta dies. Okay, I believe in the manga and anime, Goku was, I believe, being <coughs> revived in, in a, I believe, some kind of uh, machine when, when Vegeta died. Okay, Goku says, now I'm angry! Frieza! Okay, Frieza. Okay. So we fight Frieza. Super Saiyan Son Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. Final form Frieza. Let's fight. So Captain Guinea is the only one we have fought yet that we didn't have at, at the start of the game. All of these guys were playable. Of course Super Saiyan Goku is also new. We could only play as ordinary Goku. Maybe we'll unlock Captain Guinea and Super Saiyan Goku after this battle. It's nice. The the energy charging in this game looks a lot like the, the ones from Betoden. They're not the best looking. I believe they look better in Hyper Dimension for the Super Nintendo, but uh, certainly this game is more epic to play and more fun. I like the supersonic vibe. It's fast paced and you move fast. It captures the battles of the show better than the older titles or the other 2D consoles. This could have been a Super Nintendo game, I believe. Game Boy Advance being a portable Super Nintendo pretty much. Shit. <coughs> Looks amazing for a Game Boy Advance game. We won the battle. It's not impossible to win either. I like it. And I mean the, the Game Boy Color game, while popular, is very very difficult, even with the hack that changed it to be more fair to the player, I still thought it was very difficult against Nappa, uh, but managed to defeat Piccolo in the hack. Frieza says, N no, no! The overwhelming power of Goku, who became a Super Saiyan, would finally back Frieza into a corner. Frieza, I'd rather take my own life than be killed by you, but I won't die. The one who's going to die is you! Okay. Frieza, I'll destroy this planet! As Frieza was backed into a corner, his own blow destroyed the center of the planet Namek, and the planet started collapsing. With the planet starting to break apart, Vegeta and the people of Namek escaped to Earth, but Goku remained behind the, to settle a score. Yeah, because I believe the, the heroes, including Vegeta, were... Um, I believe they were dead, but they were wished back to life when they had returned to the planet. There were some that escaped, I believe. Uh, I believe that Kid Gohan, Bulma, and uh, maybe someone else, Piccolo maybe, they, they escaped the mech. While the others were wished back to life on, on Earth. But in this game, all of them somehow managed to escape, even though Vegeta were died previously. So there are some inconsistencies between the text earlier and, and, and later. Okay, Goku remained alone on the collapsing planet Namek to settle things with Frieza. Scene 4, Boy from the Future. Ah, so Future Trunks arrives. He was also playable in the VS mode from the start. One year later he will probably fight Frieza as an, a cyborg Frieza or jump straight into fighting one of the androids. One year later Surviving the battle on the planet Namek, Frieza came flying to Earth, and Goku came after him. Yeah, we'll fight Cyborg Frieza. Frieza, Earth, not a bad planet. However, a mysterious boy stood in Frieza's way. Trunks, I'll come to kill you. Yes, we'll fight Frieza as Trunks. When Goku arrived, the battle had already been decided. The boy who had changed into a Super Saiyan had defeated Frieza. Ah, so we skipped the battle. Goku. Who are you? Trunks, Mr. Goku, will you please spare with me? Goku, okay. As we'll fight Goku then. Excuse me. Okay, we'll fight Goku in a friendly match. 
Super Saiyan Goku versus Super Saiyan Trunks or Ordinary Trunks, I don't know. Teams will fight Ordinary Trunks. No, we turned into Super Saiyan, okay. So the hair is not blonde, it's uh, golden. But many people mistake it for blonde. It's supposed to be gold. Okay. And representing ultimate power, the Super Saiyan. Su Saiyans are a special race. From, from a different planet and the main character is a Saiyan uh, and some others and they are stronger than humans uh, warrior race and Super Saiyan is of course the ultimate form until they decided to create Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4 and you know uh, more stronger versions oh this game even has cool uh, flash sequences like the modern games on the PlayStation 2 a bit, uh, SNES like graphics. Pretty cool. Trunks, as I expected, rumors about you were true. No, you surpassed them. Trunks, I'll explain everything to you. The problem with this game and other handheld systems is that it's difficult to play with a friend unless you have an actual handheld system. You can't play uh, with a friend when, when they are handheld. I believe the PlayStation Portable is, a diff uh, is an exception as they managed to somehow connect it through the Wi-Fi, so that it's possible to play many people on the same computer. You have two screens open at once and can uh, log in on both at the same time. So you can play with a friend on the same computer and uh, the screen will be divided into two. Like on an old console, like this Nintendo 64 for example. Uh, but in this game I don't know if it's possible. And in uh, real life of course you, you used... Uh, uh, each player had... Uh, his own or her own uh, handheld console. Okay, Trunk says, I'll explain everything to you. Mysterious boy spoke about the dark future ushered in by the androids who will arrive on Earth in three years. He also prof prophesied that Goku will soon die of a disease. After giving Goku the proper medication, Trunks returned to the future. So in the future, there will be androids or cyborgs, also known as robots, that will arrive and kill everyone the heroes and Trunks return to the past to warn to warn the, the sea fighters the heroes of the Dragon Ball Z story of the threat of the future where, where everything is destroyed by the, the, the robots or androids as they are known here so it's a very 80, 80s um, very 80s uh, Terminator style future where, where robots uh, kill everyone okay after giving Goku the proper medication, Trunks returned to the future. Goku, if only the future could be changed. Scene 5, Android Invasion. Three years later. Just as Trunks prophesized, the androids appeared. Gero, he is named Doc Dr. Gero, he is the creator of the androids, he created all of them. He is an android himself, he turned himself into an android too. Uh, but he, he, he is the creator of the other androids. Ha ha ha, come quickly Goku. Uh, 18, doesn't say anything. To lure Goku out, they were going to destroy the city. Goku and Piccolo stood in the android's way. Goku says, You will pulverize both of you. Ah, so we'll fight both Android 18 and Dr. Jaro. Probably added Jaro so that 18 would have a friend would have been uh, made more sense to add 17 as they do actually fight together in in the show and in the manga well Gero was actually killed by 17 and 18 so they didn't like him uh, but in the story maybe they needed Gero that's why they added him instead of 17 Gero says I've been waiting for you Goku I have all the data on you this will be the place of your death so Dr. Jero will, uh, wanted to take over the world and create a robot that would uh, be able to do so and kill the heroes of the show. But the robots, they uh, didn't want to follow orders and killed him instead and then just started to kill everyone. So they are just ma mania maniacal um, um, like uh, robots killing everyone in sight for fun. While uh, Dr. Yero, their creator, wanted to actually dominate the world with the robots. 
case we are controlling Super Saiyan Goku. In in the story he would become ill after his fight with Android 19 and would uh, not be able to fight anymore in most of the story. So it would be up to Son Gohan and others to handle the, the droids and the androids, I mean. Alright. We can also switch to Piccolo in this fight. I like the fast paced battles here, they are very intense. It's a great fighter. It's a really good battle uh, system. I, I think this is the best 2D fighter I've played yet in the Dragon Ball franchise. Better than the SNES and Sega games, and certainly better than the PlayStation 1 Ultimate Battle 22 as well. I just prefer this. Fuck, she managed to defeat Piccolo. No, she didn't defeat me. He just uh, fell unconscious. I don't know all the buttons. We managed to win. We are playing on beginner difficulty, so of course it's easy. Goku and Piccolo defeated the androids, uh, but soon Goku's body began to change. Goku says, Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. That happened after he fought uh, 19 in the story. Uh, Goku says, P -p Pain, what's happening to my body? Piccolo says, Goku, what's happening, Goku? It's, it's the heart disease, what's happening? <coughs> Trunks medicine helped save Goku's life. However, while Goku was sick in bed, another fearful enemy appeared. Goku Jiro's final creation finally awoke. <coughs> Perfect Cell. After defeating Vegeta and Piccolo, <coughs> Cell declared the start of the Cell games. Scene 6 opening of Cell games. <coughs> kind of like that they skipped to the final battles in this storm mode. So it doesn't take forever to unlock the characters. <laughs> Cell says, I've decided to put on a martial arts tournament called Cell Games. If all the participants lose against me, I will kill all the humans in the world. <coughs> As the declaration of the start of Cell Games was broadcast by television, the world was en enveloped by fear. Yeah, only the sea fighters can stop Cell. Goku says, I'm sorry to wor worry you, Gohan. It's all right now. <coughs> After completely recovering from heart disease, Goku and Gohan entered the hyperbolic time chamber to train for the Cell Games. Goku hoped to become even more powerful than a Super Saiyan. And... <coughs> Finally, the opening of the Cell Games arrived. Goku, alright, let's go, Gohan! Gohan says, okay! Cell says, welcome to the Cell Games, shall we begin? We'll fight uh, as both Goku and Gohan against Cell. Super Saiyan uh, Gohan and Goku. Super Saiyan 3 probably Gohan. Oh, we did a Kamehameha. I don't know how to do the special attacks in this game. But I probably need to speed up to do that, to manage to toss Cell into a mountain there. I've switched out Goku for Gohan here, we are Super Saiyan 3 already. We only added one version of the character. Some of the characters got both the Super Saiyan version and the ordinary version. Others just got the Super Saiyan 3 or whatever version. This game doesn't have that many characters, I believe the DS game probably has more characters. But the pro problem with it is that it has a divided screen, it doesn't have one screen like this game. So it looks worse. This certainly is the, in my opinion, best 2D Dragon Ball Fighter up until 2004 at least. Compared to the 3D fighters, it's more fast paced. Makes sense to control Gohan against Perfect Cell. We 
can switch out characters. I don't know if we do anything on... Uh, I would like to know how to do the special moves. So of course the Game Boy Advance didn't have any rotational buttons like the PlayStation Portable. So we can't do anything there. It's possible to do Kamamehas and other special attacks, I just don't know how. Maybe I need to spend some time in the training mode to learn how to do them. I don't believe this game has any uh, computer versus computer mode. It is a frame. It would be epic. So you just watch the computer in this game. But there is no such mode, I believe. But it's fun to play this game myself. Unlike many of the older games where I thought they were pretty bad. Probably good for their time if you have no other alternative. This game actually is a, a good fighter. Nothing like it prior to this game. At the end of the battle it looked as if Cell was finally defeated. But Cell regenerated his body and revived. Cell, I won't be having mercy on you. Cell, entire earth, vanish! Yeah, he, takes, he tries to take out the entire planet. Cell, phew ha 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 ha! How's that? I have so much energy accumulated that the sun will be blown away, along with the earth. Goku says, we have to stop him. Go on, let's do it. Go on, okay. <coughs> Goku, come here, Go on, says, come here, Tell, die, Saiyans. Go and go on. Ha! Said no. How is that po possible? I I. Cell was utterly destroyed by Goku and Gohan's Kamehameha wave. Cell games ended and peace returned to the world. So I like that the story mode in this game uh, moves straight to the final battles. In a in a console game, I would like more detail. But in in a handheld system like this, it's good that they just. Uh, move straight to the finale and uh, you don't have to fight every single enemy in the story and also that when you beat Cell once you don't have to beat him again in, in the Budokai game released in 2002 you had to defeat many different versions of Cell I believe he looked the same in all of them except the final one but but you had to defeat him multiple times during the story mode okay, the Cell games ended and peace returned to the world Scene 7, Confrontation of Fate, Goku vs Vegeta. So now we are on the Buu Saga in the early stage. Vegeta turns into Majin Vegeta. Even with peace restored, Goku continued his training. However, this peace was shattered by the evil mage Babidi's plan to revive Majin Buu. Babidi, <laughs> it's almost time. Majin Buu will soon be revived. Babidi worked on the evil emotions within Vegeta to make him fight Goku. To revive Majin Buu by absorbing the energy from their battle. Under Babri's control, Vegeta destroyed many innocent lives. Uh, Majin Vegeta says, Okay, Kakarot, fight me! If you don't want to increase the size of this mountain of dead bodies. Goku, Vegeta, I didn't know that you wanted to settle things with me by selling your soul to Babri. Vegeta, here I come! I'll kill you, Kakarot! Okay, so we'll fight alone as Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Goku in the story versus Majin Vegeta. And he's uh, Vegeta looking like Majin Vegeta here. Okay. Need a fucking garlic gun. Attack. Right, we threw him into a mountain. Very good. Yeah, this game is intense. Very cool and unique fighting game. 
prefer playing this over the DS one. Alright, so this is highly recommended as a fighting game. I like it. Despite not knowing how to do the Kaman house and such. Spamming is Gallic Gun. I would like to know how to do the the beams to do on now. Inner in this game was actually very easy. In some fighting games, the, the difficulty level doesn't really matter much. During the battle with Goku, the, the curse placed on Vegeta lost its hold, but according to Babidi's plan, Majin Buu was revived by the energy from the battle. Buu, Buu. All right, Goku, this is wrong. Our energy helped revive Majin Buu. Vegeta, I released Majin Buu. I'll deal with him. Setting, settling my issues with you. We'll have to wait. Goku, ah, uh, let's go. Scene eight, confrontation with Majin Buu. Goku and Vegeta rush to stop Majin Buu from destroying any more innocent lives. But, once defeated, Boo changed and became a heinous Boo. Ah, so we can't play as Majin Boo in this game. We'll play against Super Boo, I guess. <coughs> a, m a more powerful version of Boo. Boo says, Ha! Jack. Cool. Goku, what's happening? He's changing to something else. Goku, Nav Navi is pure evil. We have to defeat him or the planet is history. Vegeta, oh no. We're going to go with full power, Kakarot. Goku, alright. Probably did this because I um, believe against Super Buu that Vegeta and, um, and uh, Son Goku they cooperated while against Majin Buu they fought only one versus one battles. Okay, so we'll control both Goku and Vegeta against Super Buu here. Just nice combos. It's easy to. Ah, so I can. Uh, I still don't know how to throw the energy like that. Turn me into a cake now. He can eat me, I believe. And I'm like that. Uh, so Boo can turn enemies into cake and uh, eat them. Or chocolate, actually. I just have two buttons on uh, on the Game Boy Advance. So I fucked up by clicking on other buttons that we do not have, like the triangle and square buttons. Forgot that the Game Boy Advance is like a Game Boy Color with better graphics. And the Game Boy Color only had two buttons, the A and B buttons, and the directional buttons, of course. But only two buttons that you attack with. This game should certainly be played by any Dragon Ball Z fan. So different from anything else in the genre and plays like something out of the show. So yeah, highly recommended. Should be played at least once. Gorgeous Super Nintendo styled graphics. Losing, he did his ultimate attack. This is my first loss. He 
defeated Vegeta. Let's continue. We defeated both Goku and Vegeta. Let's try again. Ah, so I somehow shoot when I click on the energy button. The R1 button. I need to click something else too in order to shoot. So yeah, I don't really know all the buttons well. I need to try out the training mode later. We'll finish the story mode now. Doesn't matter if I can't use the energy attacks. Try to win with Goku here. It's good enough to be able to use the, um, the combos. Yeah, uh, if I could use the super attacks, it would certainly be an improvement and uh, easier to win too. I am a bit handicapped when I can't use the Kamamahas and such. He continues to turn me into chocolate, chocolate, but he fails to eat me, maybe he can't in the game. Okay, we are leading. Turn me into chocolate again. Yep, this game is much more intense and fun than any other 2D fighter I've played. This system of fighting is just so much more fun and intense and series accurate. It's supposed to be very high speed and intense, you know, when they fly in the air like jets and blast each other with beams similar to, you know, a jet plane's uh, missiles and bombs. Okay, Vegeta has joined in. So it looks similar to a jet plane when it flies in high speed. And when characters in Dragon Ball Z fly. Okay. Also similar to Superman. Okay. Fucking shit, you are losing. Maybe I need to teach myself how to do the special attacks. I can pause the game, but I cannot uh, check the, uh, the, the, the controls. So I need to win this um, um, or exit and lose the progress. Maybe I should have taught myself the moves before starting. We lost again. This battle was the only difficult battle on beginner difficulty when I can't use the sp special attacks. We try again. Oh, I did a Kamamaha! But it missed mostly, it sucked. I believe the trick is to press the energy button and one of the other buttons together with the directional buttons. It's a bit tiring on the finger to, to play this game for long periods of time. I'm already feeling it in my thumbs because uh, you use the directional buttons to move and not analog sticks because there were no analog sticks on the Game Boy Advance. So that's a setback. It would have been nice to use analog sticks on this game instead of the directional buttons. In that sense, I think Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22 and Dragon Ball Z Final Bat games released in 95 and 97 for the PlayStation 1 uh, uh, they, that they have uh, better controls alright okay, shit This is very intense, even when I'm a noob who can't even do the Kamamahas properly, or whatever energy attack they have. 
different characters have different attacks. Some of them have the same. Most of the sea fighters have the Kamamaha and some others. Vegeta has the Gallic Gun and the uh, Final Blast or whatever. And a suicide explosion attack. So this Boo guy was actually difficult, unlike the others. It's the final fight probably in storm mode. They made it more difficult. Had the same problem in Budokai 1 where every fight was easy until the final battle with Perfect Cell. Even on easy difficulty and then it was impossible to defeat Perfect Cell even on easy. Because he was still uh, very difficult. Like every other character it became easy on, on the beginner difficulty but they made Cell uh, as strong on the easy difficulty too so you couldn't finish the game and get the final cutscenes. In this game they made Super Boo stronger than the others. Even on beginner difficulty. But if I could use the Kamamahas and such for Gallic Guns in the case of uh, Vegeta then, then it would be easier of course. Now I'm limited to, for the most part, uh, uh, physical attacks that are not as uh, good at dealing damage. Fuck him. We will lose again. And I'm getting tired in my fingers too. This is just Goku by the way, so we have not really finished the game. We can probably play the story mode as every character. Okay, I'm getting tired. Try again, but I think we'll give up if we lose again. And go to the training mode first and learn the skills. Because I don't want to play if I can't defeat him and uh, we probably need to know those beams how to pull them off bef before we can defeat this guy oh I uh, oh I did something there I am clicking on the same button I use when I move forward fast the R1 button but I need to click on other buttons at the same time to do the beams so it's lucky it's just lucky if I manage to pull them off Oh, we threw him into a mountain again. Nice, we move very fast. I like that in this game. Very intense battles. Okay. Turn him into chocolate again. Yeah, if it were a contest between 2D fighters, then certainly this game is the best one up until 2004, and it's better than the second game too, I believe. Released yet later, one year later, I believe, in 2005 for the Nintendo DS. And it's certainly better than the Taiketsu fighter on the same system, the Game Boy Advance. Uh, there were some other games released uh, in 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9 and such for other systems, but they are 3D fighters. They can't really be compared. There are maybe some more 2D fighters for the DES and the 3DS that could be compared to this one. This is the best one on the Advance and uh, I think better than the, the stuff on the DS in terms of fighting games there are some good uh, beat em ups and uh, role playing games too on the Game Boy Advance as well <sighs> fuck this, let's give up game over Ooh, super <coughs> super boo was difficult Okay, let's go to option. 
that thing. I don't know how I can save. Go level one difficulty, okay. Shop. Level three, you can level up characters. Go and if story open. Ah, so there are different characters here and we can level them up if we pay money. We have 300. A Krillin, Piccolo, Vegeta, Trunks, Ginyu, Frieza, Progero, Android 18, Cell, Boo, Gotenks, Namek Saga. Now open, can uh, pay to unlock Android Saga and Madian Saga too. Nice. Moderate difficulty, you don't need a higher difficulty. Museum. Okay, go level 2, level 3, if story. What if story with Goku? Go to 18, see what. Okay, uh, so we have if story there as well. We do not have enough money. Don't want to buy anything. How do I save the game here? Sea battle. One on one battle or team battle. Oh, we can play one on one too. Let's check that out. So on Goku, we have uh, Super Saiyan 3 go on with Piccolo, we have Vegeta, we have Trunks, and we have Frieza. We haven't unlocked any character. That sucks. Maybe we need to buy them. Story option, Link vs Training. Training mode, let's check that out. Practice. Check, go on. Ah, we can sh take the same character. Okay. Let's just start. We move up and down using the, and not to the sides, using the directional buttons. We press them multiple times, we can move faster back and forward. We, we will charge on R1 and switch out the character on L1. We will kick on circle or A and on B or X we will hit. And when we use the directional buttons and using these buttons we will do different moves. And when we click both of them at once, we'll do combos, like that. And then using the L1 button, we can move forward fast. I don't know how to do the, the unique attacks. I mean the beam attacks. Ah, I clicked on L1 and on circle it's difficult to pull them off at least when you don't really know how it's done the cool camera views can can um, sh replace the character at any moment with the other two using the R1 button Charge up our energy. Get level 1 with Goku. We can pay for level 2 and level 3 characters. And the what if character. They cost money. To earn in, in other modes. Still not sure how to do the beams. Or 
how to save the game. Okay, and training. Dragon C, Supersonic Warriors. The Game Boy Advance. Go to option. Shop. And we will... Uh, can't buy level 2 or 3, we do not have enough money, we need more than 300 for that. We can get the level 1 characters. We'll get 18. Level 1. Now I don't know how to save the game. Which is annoying. You can save using the save state function of the Visual Boy Advance emulator. But how to save in the actual game, I don't know how to do it. In most games you would have an option to save. But I don't know how. I hate when, when I unlock stuff and then when I restart the game I do not have that stuff anymore. Okay, C battle. One on one battle. Yeah, we unlock characters by buying them. We have Android 18 unlocked. Select her. Yes, a one versus one battle. We'll fight different enemies in the sea battle mode. It's like an arcade. Her sprite looked great in this game. Better than in the Bertoden 1 game. And better than in the Buu Retsuden game for the Sega 2. Looks similar to the sprite um, that were added through a hack. Slightly older, certainly the best um, 2D and or 18 out of the ones um, for the Sega, Super Nintendo and, and the Game Boy Advance. Uh, as for the PlayStation 1 sprite, I believe it has better resolution, but prefer this one. There is a different look here. So we won against Krillin. Alright. We have better portraits here. If you wish to leave, you should leave now. Okay. We'll fight against Super Saiyan 3 Go on. Alright. Okay, in this game Android 18 doesn't have actual energy when she charges her energy. So they can charge energy but it doesn't look like they do it. Because the cyborgs or androids didn't uh, have energy in the anime and manga. In some games they do because the developers uh, forget about that detail. In this game they cannot charge with visible energy. So it's true to their show and the manga which I like. Oh, we did a unique beam there. So I pressed the R1 button and the directional buttons and one of the two other buttons, the A and B buttons or circle and X buttons on a PS2 controller. I mean PS4 controller, yeah. We fight Vegeta, it's Android 18. Yeah, this is the most enjoyable 2D fighter. Uh, out of the ones I played on the channel. Everyone up until 2004. I didn't play the NES ones, but they suck. Try them off screen, I might do a video on it, but it sucks. It's very weird. It was the first fighting game, of course, ever released. It looks worse than the others, too. This is like someone taking the, the sprites from the Super Nintendo game and uh, creating a completely different fighting game for it. It's more true to their show. So this is the C battle mode, like the arcade mode. And one versus one battles. I usually prefer that over tag team. 
Ah, uh, so when I did that, I used the L, the the R1 button and the uh, and the X and, uh, and and the circle buttons and the directional buttons. Same time. is charging energy yeah I'm impressed with this game really impressive title it's like someone saw the, the bad title from 23 and, and decided to do a great one in 2004 escape now we have no interest in you Alright, we face Dr. Yero, the creator of the androids. Where they fight? So you have like screams and music, but it's not very loud because I have lowered the sound so that my voice will be easily easy to hear. They don't really say their moves in this game, unfortunately. That's one thing that is better in the PlayStation 1 title, where they say their moves. Everything else I think is better here. Maybe the game has fewer characters, which is bad. We won against Dr. Euro 2 or Android 20, this is also known. So, winner. How does it feel to be killed by your own creations? Ah. And now, sell. Perfect sell. Ready, fight. Okay, so in the story mode, only super boober difficult. It's probably high level. You have like everything from level one to three. You need to pay to to get the higher level versions of the characters. All the characters characters have three versions that are level one, two, and three. There is an unlockable difficulty too, and a museum you can unlock probably with art or something from the show. Good, we did some some uh, beams there. I like how the camera moves like that. Looks real cool. And unique. Winner. You will never absorb this android. They also have comments based on who they fight, which I like. Oh, we face Majin Buu, so he is a character in this game, you just didn't face him in the story. He's the fat version of Buu, he's weaker than Super Buu. He did a Kamamha. Good, we did a energy beam there. Wasn't that difficult to do with Android 18. I'm not I'm not sure how they did it. Required me to press multiple buttons. Okay. Ah, so if I press X multiple times, she moves like that. And circle. And we won. I did. I didn't uh, read that what she said. We had to fast clicking there. All right. Face some Goku. The main goal of Android 18, 16, and 17 were to kill Goku. They were killed. They, uh, they were created by Doctor Jaro to kill Son Goku first and foremost. He's seen as the main threat. 
of the Red Ribbon Army, of which Dr. Jero were a part, uh, in, in Dragon Ball, uh, Kid Goku ruined the ambitions of the Red Ribbon Army, heavily inspired by the Red Army, because Dragon Ball is from the 80s, and the uh, Red Army, or the Soviet Union, were seen as the big bad, and uh, Red Ribbon Army was crushed by Kid Goku in the early show and manga, and uh, Dr. Jero in the Android saga of Dragon Ball Z, he wants to to, to kill Goku and uh, take over the world like they always wanted. They see Goku as the main problem, um, the main hindrance in their plans. So the androids are created to kill Goku first and foremost. Okay, and in the future of Trunks, I believe they succeeded in killing everyone except Trunks uh, and Bulma and some others. Uh, okay. Goku isn't that tough. Okay, points 120. We, we finished the C battle mode. Number one, Goku level one difficulty. Okay. Okay. The question is, how do I save in this game? The story mode. Can't play as everyone. So we can play the Frieza story, the Trunk story, Vegeta story, Piccolo story, Gohan story, and the Goku story. We played the Goku story and reached all the way to the final battle against Super Buu, but failed to win. Okay, if I click this again, will I start from the scratch? Ultimate battle to divide the world. Several years after Goku won the world, mod uh, we start from the scratch again. Fuck that. Then we don't want to fight this again. We have to start from the battle with Vegeta. We can try to do some attacks with... Uh, okay, so we're ordinary Goku. I guess you click on circle when you shoot the beams and on the R1 button and on the directional button. Okay, we wanna guess Vegeta again. Yes, skip the text. So we need to lose in order to return to the menu. play the Android Saga and such, you need to unlock it. Gaining money in other modes. Skip the text. Click on Start. And let them win. We can control Vegeta here. Really cool camera angles in this game, in this 2D game. Certainly superior product compared to the SNES and Sega games using similar graphics. The graphics look exactly the same as in the Super Nintendo titles. Just used way better here. Can let them win. You don't really want to play this battle. The entire story again. He's an in oh, he is a beginner. Difficult enemy. They are not that difficult. Of course the energy charge in this game looks uh, as bad as the Super Nintendo one. Uh, it it uh, doesn't look as good as the Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension sprites. Maybe they should have used sprites of Hyper Dragon Ball Z instead. Okay, uh, but then they would have had fewer characters. 
so free battle mode. Now we have Android 18 here. And uh, we have let Piccolo and Trunks. Okay, and we'll fight Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta. Yes. Yeah, I think this is a fun game and I like how you unlock stuff in it too. It'll take some training to get good at it, you know, when it comes to using the blasts and such, but super attacks, but the basic attacks are easy to do. And I like that you can uh, unlock everything by buying it. I just need to spend time in the different modes, the story mode, the sea battle mode, or the free battle mode to earn money. I don't know if you earn money in the free battle mode, but in the sea battle mode for sure, and in the story mode for sure. You have many different story arcs, even though they are streamlined and move almost straight to the final battle in each saga, so you don't have to spend time fighting each and every character in the sagas. You can only jump to the boss almost immediately. Sadly, Super Blue was a little bit uh, dif uh, too difficult when you don't know how to do the beam attacks. It's not enough to unlock a character in free battle and sea battle modes to use them in story mode. You need to unlock their specific story, the, the Android saga for Android 18, probably. And this game had uh, an amazing amount of detail, like not having visible energy for Android 18 when she charges. Same is probably true for 19 and Dr. Gero. They are in the game. I believe Gero is in the game, but I don't know about 19. Ah, so Android 18 got defeated, but um, Piccolo arrived. Shit, he did a super attack. So there are some really cool super attacks in this game that I do not know how to do, how to pull off. Certainly this game is the best Game Boy Advance fighting game uh, in the Dragon Ball fran franchise. There are a lot of Dragon Ball games for the Game Boy Advance, but most of them are um, beat-em-ups and role-playing games. And uh, there is a card game too, based on the trading card game, released in 2002. I were thinking about preview previewing it first before this one, but decided not to because it's so different. There are also the Ligas of Goku games, three games or four are beat-em-up role-playing games, but oh yeah, the first game is not very popular, there are hack that improves it too, and then there is the third and fourth games uh, that weren't that popular either, and then there is the fourth, uh, the second game that is actually re really good, and takes place, I believe, in the Android saga, so that game I might actually play. It's the only American-made Dragon Ball game that uh, were released in Japan because of its popularity. So that's a game I would like to play, but it's a role-playing game with beat-em-up battles. So you, so you play on a, an open world and defeat enemies, but there are no uh, random battles. Instead you defeat all the enemies as, as they show up on the map. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of the battle system, but I, I like that it's an, a, a role-playing game in the Android saga that looks good for its time. Okay, let's back out of the free battle mode. Challenge. Is that? Ah, we can back out. Probably use the different challenges. Let's go to the training. And tutorial. Uh, power shot curse. Yeah, let's do the power shot curse. Training number one, storing power. You must now learn how to handle your new power. Power can be stored by pressing the R button. This will help you gather the energy needed for power shots and special moves. Try storing as much power as you can. Yeah, I know about that already. 
clear. But your storing power will be delays. Careful during actual battles. Training number two, weak power shot. You can launch a weak power shot by pressing the B button while holding down the R button. Ah. You can rapid fire by repeatedly pressing the B button. Weak power shot eight times. Okay. So I need to hold that and then I shoot. Ah, it's easy. And then I can do this. Ah, it was easy. I just need to press the, the X button on the PS4 controller while holding the R1 button. Or R1 button. Energy is consumed for each power shot launched. You won't be able to launch power shots without energy. Cover and lost energy by storing power uh, by pressing the R1 button. Launch a strong power shot by pressing the A button by holding down the R button. Although rapid fire is not possible, the intensity of this attack makes up for its uh, one time use. Strong power shot three times. Okay. I see, that's a strong power. Just gather energy to 100. When we're done, ah, it was easy to do. Strong power shot can counter an opponent's weak power shot. Be careful when exchanging power shots. Training number 4, X strong power shot. Pressing the A button for an extended period of time and launching a strong power shot will further increase its intensity as an X strong power shot. X strong power shot three times. Okay, let's uh, gather energy up to, uh, to 100 percent. Then we will launch multiple strong power shots. Charge back up to 100. Charge back. I like how this game allows you to charge your power with the R1 button instead of pressing two buttons like in the other games. Oh, we did a blue beam there. Uh, if I hold R1 and press the circle button for a long period of time, it turns into a blue beam. There are many abilities that can be interchanged with X strong power shot. Careful when exchanging power shots. Good, this is the end regarding power shots. I continue to train in actual battles. Okay. Shot and kill, course, substitution, course, combo course. Okay, but I think we're done. Still do not know how to do the super attacks, but go to story. I believe we do not have, uh, for example, Android 18. This is probably her story. Okay. Okay, we can try a free battle. Android 18. Yes. Against um, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Yes. Ah, then it turns into a single battle. One versus one battle if we pr pick the same characters. That's good. Oh, he did, he did a special attack! So, for some reason, she doesn't charge. Her percentage doesn't go up. Ah, uh, Android 18's percentage increases when she hits the enemy with physical attacks. And decreases when using energy blasts. So if you want energy with her, you need to hit the enemy, I think. She can't charge. 
and instead we'll charge by hitting the enemy. Yeah, an off awesome fighter this game. Easy buttons and awesome looking sprites. Good, you did some special stuff there. She can't charge the normal way. If I press the R1 button and click on X instead of cir circle, then she moves fast towards the enemy. Okay, winner. This is the Saiyan Prince. Huh? Okay, we're done here. Thank you for watching. We will return to this game later and continue the story mode, maybe. Now that I know how to do beams and such. Uh, I still do not know how to do the ultimate attacks, but with beams, at least I should be able to defeat Superboo now. You need to start from scratch to and defeat everyone again. Okay, but thank you for watching. This is Dragon Ball C Supersonic Warriors, released for the Game Boy Advance in 2004 or 24. And it's the best fighting game for the Game Boy Advance, and it's also the best 2D fighting game up until this point, defeating all the earlier titles, including the PlayStation 1 titles. Okay, thank you for watching, bye!